I wanted to go through one of the most um, helpful options in my opinion in application options. So this is a standard model and what I wanted to do is for example start a sketch on this face. So I'm going to hit S or we come up here and start a 2D sketch. Click the face you want to start on. Now typically let's say I was going to add a doorway into this garage. I want to put a rectangle down here which is the door. Now normally what I would want to do is dimension that from the edge here. Now what's great about Inventor is it does pick that up automatically for you if you hover over it. Now this is very simple geometry so that's nice and easy. So let's say yeah, that, that's find two and a half meters um, then I would probably use some of the constraints like making sure that the you know this is horizontally aligned to this um, or vertically aligned because we're out of plane here but this is great for simple geometry but what actually is more likely is you've got more complicated geometry and actually what I really wanted was just this um, outer edge to be projected when I created that sketch because at the moment there's only one possible line it can click from, take from, but if this is more complicated geometry you might struggle to get the exact line. So one of the things I have as an option always turned on, I'm going to go ahead and delete that sketch to show you the difference. Um, if you go up to file and then options, this is basically your application options, there's some amazing stuff in here and we can go through some of it in other videos, but I have this one here turned on which is auto project edges for sketch creation and edit. So if I apply that, what you'll notice now is if I do a sketch on that exact same face, all of this yellow is, the, and that's the colour scheme I have, but yellow is all of that projected geometry on the face I've just clicked on. I'm still free to go ahead and click on the other items, but I find this really useful because you know, nine times out of ten I'm going to want to select something on that face to reference with my new sketch and the great thing is of course that makes it parametric if I'm using projected geometry. So that's a good way of having that turned on automatically and we can go over a couple more of the options but in the sketch you can see this is how I have mine set up. Um, so for example I always have this uh, auto project edges for, for sketch creation edit and also um, when I'm in part I have a new sketch on the XY plane so th this means if I start a new part for example so if I go up here and do new part you can see I'm already in a sketch and that's just because as I'm making you know hundreds thousands of models every time I open a model and then going start 2D sketch and selecting one of the planes that's just got frustrating for me so what I did is you go into the application options and then you can choose that and typically for me I work on the XY and extrude through the Z, uh, Z being the height so that's the one that works for me and that typically works if you're for example going to CNC machines but for whatever you're doing you might prefer the YZ or the XZ plane so that's a couple of the, the things I find most useful in application options and we'll go through a, in another video all of these in a bit more detail. Hopefully.